Right, so first of all, you've got to decide what you want. Do you want a pigeon that's for sprint racing or do you want a pigeon for middle to long distance racing? So decide what you want. Generally speaking, the sprint pigeons have got broader shoulders. They don't handle as well. They seem to be all up front. They've got long flights that are thin, even thinner than the Dark Lord, which he isn't a sprint pigeon anyway. Don't handle as well but they've got broad shoulders. But if you're looking for long distance pigeons, they always handle well. They always have good balance. Strong backs if possible. You don't want them where the tail sticks up in the air like a fan tail like that. You want the, fe the, the tail to be straight or if not anything slightly down, which means a pigeon's got a strong back, which it's gonna need for long distance racing. It's nice to have a step up on the wing. Some people like it. I don't think it means a right lot. Uh, shorter back wings normally for the, for the long distance racing, which he's got quite a short back wing. This is a Dark Lord. Uh, the feathers tend to be wider for long distance birds than sprint pigeons. Nice head. Mm. Not over important, but you need pigeons with brains, which is a very, very hard thing to find. So look at the pedigree. Look at the pedigree for famous long distance pigeons. Generally speaking, they're the ones with brains.